What's up, everyone? It's me, CN Skyma, and welcome to CN Figures. Figures in your house. And for this tour review, we'll look at Transformers Rise of the Beasts action figure Cheetor. And this is my first Transformers figure review that I'm doing right now. All right, right there in the front side of the package, we get this image of the character as his animal form. And right inside, you can see the figure looking all cool, longer than the name of the film. And also, we get in the top side of the package. Transformers right there in the corner, and there's the logo, and he is number 98. Studio series right there in the bottom, including the name of the character. And this side, we get another picture of the character, and again, we see the number. And, and right here, we get a picture of the figure, and... A logo of Transformers. In the back side, there's pictures of the figure. And again, we see the name of the film, along with the name of the character. And there's nothing in the bottom side, so enough chatting. Let's take him out. And here's the figure out of his box. And wow, this guy looks freaking cool. But a little bit different than the film. And it's about to be a month already since I saw this movie. And this movie was incredible. And also it was my first time that I watched a Transformers film in theaters. And this film was so cool that I want to see it again. So I can do my movie review and do, and talk about all that great work. And especially the special effects that done on this film. Just look at this guy. It's amazing. I loved it. And this is the weapon that the fair comes with. And this piece came out very sweet. I really love all that detail, all that sculpting, and also the paints like right here in the tip. That looks very cool. I love it. And I don't know what type of silver paint they use or what type of material they use, but they look so good. And also you can attach it together as one. And it's also kind of hard to put it on. And look at that. This is amazing, and I love it. Look at all that good work, like I said. And every Transformer figure, they come with instructions. So you can transform your figure to an animal or to a vehicle. And you can see the name of the character right there. And the name of the film, Transformers right there in the corner. Including the logo, number, and story series right there in the corner. And here's the character as its cheetah form. And I love cheetahs. They're my favorite land animal of all. And this design is very sweet. They put an epic work on this figure. And I don't know what else to say. But it does have some unique paint apps. And unique design. I'm going to start out with his cheetah form. And not bad with it done on his head sculpt of his animal form. It does have some nice design and the sculpting of his cheetah ears came out very good. I love the nose, the eyes, everything came out very good and right here you can open his mouth. But there's not a lot to talk about in the inside. Boy, I really love the cheetah form. Look at that. And not bad with the dawn with his paws of this animal. I really love all this nice sculpting. Especially the paints and I'm not sure if I armed this well because they're kind of tricky to build them to vehicles or to animals and Not bad with it done here on the foot and I think it's gray and I love all this nice work and Especially the nails well robotic nails because he is a robot and I really love how the tail came out it's very nice, but did he have any articulation part around here in the middle so you can bend it back and forth? But no, only here around his butt. You can still move it. And look at that nice design that he has on his back. And he has a little bit of gray all around it. That looks good. Let me see in the bottom. Yep. All this part came out very sweet. I love all that nice metallic work he use. And well, I don't know what else to say here. But they are kind of tricky to arm them. And here's the character again as his robotic form. And I'm going to start out with the head sculpt because it came out super cool. Because look at that good design. Look at that good work it has. And especially love the paints. We can see, still see more great paints all around it. 
and I really love this detail he has right there in the front of his forehead. But the color of his eyes, I can't even see it at all. The shoe lease added a little bit of green color for his eyes, but I don't know what type of paint they use on the figure. I think it's orange or light brown. I have no idea, but this paint, it makes this figure look so sweet. I know they did one of the animation version, and that one looks so cool. And I did saw a couple of reviews way back. But meantime, I'm going to keep this guy. And like I said, he looks so cool. I really love all that great work he has on his torso. And I'm not sure they did use some attack paint to make this figure. Or it's just only the, the light of my room here. But still, it looks so cool. I love all that good sculpting. And you can see more in the back. And you can still see the tail and you can move the tail all around. Not bad with it done on the shoulders. They are so cool. And especially on the arms right there in the bottom. You can see more metallic color around here. And well, you can see his robotic fingers all around his hand. And sculpted very good together. But the thumbs... They came out kind of weird looking and his hands are so small and same thing on his feet. His feet, they look funny and same thing on his legs. And you can see some parts around the knees and also here on the elbows looking very good. And well, I'm not sure if this robot has muscles or robotic muscles. But you can see right there in the bottom of his legs, it has the exact same detail right in the back. And these parts came out very good, I have to say. And you can see a little bit of detailed parts in each leg around. We see more spots around the biceps and also on the torso. And right here in the bottom, the design here is very good. And let's take a good look at his tail. Look at that nice detail it has all around it and a little bit sculpting in the back and the front of his tail. Like I said, the shoe lease added a little bit parts of articulation. You can move this part going up and down, but it didn't. Oh, swirl it. Nah, you, can, you can't move it all around. The shoe added that part for this tail so you can move it all around. I don't know why they didn't add that. Now, let's get on with his articulations, but it's going to be a little bit tricky. Okay, so you can move his head side to side, complete rotation. You can look down a little bit, you can look up a little bit, you can look straight, ball joint, and you can move this parts of the shoulder. He has some bites that swivel in each arm around, rotation, no double jointed, but you can bend the elbows and a little bit swivel around his wrist. And I don't think he has no torso articulation but it does have some waist articulation but you can move it back and forth you can open his legs this much he going to kick a lot in the front and also in the back but no rotation at all oh yeah he does have some rotation never mind you can bend around the knee in each one and he has a little bit strange of ankle articulation and you also can move this part of each foot around Comparing size, but first let's see how tall this figure stands. He stands just exactly six inches and a half. Here he is with my Marvel Legends Black 2 Spider-Man, and you can see that he's taller than my Spider-Man. Here he is with my Goldar figure, and I believe that these two guys that stand the exact same height. Here he is with my Dungeons and Dragons action figure Hank, and you can see he's taller than Hank. And here he is with my fair Marvel Celeb Thanos. And there you have it guys. Well there's not a lot to talk about on this figure. After all this was my first Transformers figure review. But after all this figure came out very sweet. I really love the detail. Especially as his cheetah form. And especially love the accessories that this figure came with. Not bad what they've done for making this character. Alright guys, that's all for today. So thank you for watching today's review. I hope you enjoy it. If you did, leave a like. If you want to share this video, go ahead, be my guest. Comment, but remember, do not leave any offensive comments or saying bad words. If you do that, 
your comment will be removed from this video. And subscribe to the channel for more videos in the future like my tour reviews and my toy hunts. And please follow my Facebook page, CM Figures. Follow me on Twitter and follow me on Instagram. And I got you guys on the next one. So take care, be safe, keep on hunting, keep on collecting. i see you next time. This is CN Sukaima and Cheetor. And we're out in line.